Goblin Market, by Christina Rossetti is a complex and allegorical poem that delves into themes of temptation, sisterhood, and salvation. At its core, the poem follows the journey of two sisters, Laura and Lizzie, as they encounter goblin men selling luscious fruits in an enchanted market. Rossetti weaves a narrative that transcends a simple cautionary tale about the dangers of indulgence, exploring the profound bond between the sisters and their resilience against temptation. The goblin men in the market symbolize temptation and allure. They tempt the sisters with irresistible fruits, described in vivid and sensual language, emphasizing their otherworldly and seductive nature. The repeated refrain, come by, come by, creates a sense of urgency, reflecting the goblins' persistent efforts to entice the sisters. Laura succumbs to the allure and buys the fruits, indulging in them despite Lizzie's warnings. Her choice leads to a physical and spiritual deterioration, illustrating the consequences of yielding to temptation. Rossetti employs rich symbolism to convey deeper meanings within the narrative. The fruits, often associated with biblical references like the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden, represent desires and pleasures that lead to moral corruption. Laura's addiction to the fruits not only deteriorates her health but also enslaves her, as she becomes dependent on the goblins for their supply. This enslavement metaphorically mirrors the dangers of yielding to one's desires without restraint. Contrasting Laura's downfall, Lizzie emerges as a symbol of resilience and sacrifice. Witnessing her sister's decline, Lizzie takes a bold step to save her. She confronts the goblins, refusing their offerings despite their aggressive insistence. Her selflessness and determination to retrieve the antidote for Laura demonstrate the redemptive power of love and sacrifice. Lizzie's actions embody a form of spiritual redemption, emphasizing the importance of resisting temptation and the potential for salvation through selflessness and perseverance. The poem's structure and language contribute significantly to its allegorical nature. Rossetti employs vivid imagery, rhythmic patterns, and rhyming schemes to create a mesmerizing and enchanting atmosphere. The use of repetition, such as the refrain, Morning and Evening, Maids Heard the Goblins Cry, amplifies the haunting and persistent nature of temptation, underscoring its continuous presence in the sisters' lives. Additionally, the poem's narrative unfolds in a fairy tale like manner, with elements of fantasy intertwined with moral lessons. The vivid descriptions of the market, the goblin men, and the fruits transport the reader into a fantastical world while simultaneously delivering a cautionary message about the perils of yielding to temptation. In conclusion, Goblin Market, by Christina Rossetti is a multi-layered narrative that explores themes of temptation, sisterly love, and redemption. Through the allegorical journey of Laura and Lizzie, Rossetti crafts a cautionary tale that transcends its surface narrative, delving into deeper spiritual and moral implications. The poem's rich symbolism, captivating language, and moral depth continue to resonate with readers, inviting them to contemplate the complexities of human desires and the power of love and resilience in resisting temptation.